Drive on lug nut. So that is how I refunded uh, all the money from that 72 inch TV. What 72 inch? The green screen? Oh, right. That was a green screen, not a TV. Right, right. Well, on that bombshell, this, I guess. This is also a green screen. Huh. I guess we should start the show. Yeah. In the future, we'll be talking about the Voxel Viavero E. Just because I like saying the name. Unhappy Bronco fans start a petition. Mm. They're not happy with what they're getting. Big, big, big change for Chrysler. Big change. Okay. Lyricoy Kai Cadillac. And all you wanted to know. N new news for Johnny Cash. I thought he was dead. He is, but I have new Johnny Cash news, and it's electric. Did you commune with the dead when We're, I wasn't looking? No, we have electric, ch electric China, Nissan, and an S Class. And drive on lug nuts indeed. And very disappointing uh, uh, Volkswagen. We also want you to hop on over here to pjandwh.com, where you're going to find all of the funniest moments, like. Yesterday's Let's Play with Your Projangers, we got into Destroy All Humans, our part two. We're going through a whole playthrough of that. And uh, we uh, we got the anal probe. Uh, weapon. Weapon. We didn't get abducted. We got the weapon in the game. There you go. We're going to define that. But you can find all of the funniest moments and the actual full playthrough right here on pjnwh.com, as well as last week's Triforce podcast on Thursday. We had the Cackle of Kellys. Our yes. Cackle of Kellys, to be specific. And then last week's Lug Nuts Night Rider taillights. So we start off the same damn way with well, Voxel. We don't start off that with that all the we time. We start off with automotive news, and this week we have some great news by Voxel if you live in the UK. Voxel is now the E. Vip. Vivarero 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 Voxel now has the Vivarero E available only in the UK. Okay. For it's 27 7 pounds, you can get it in two different lengths. It's pretty two, much a van. You see it right above my head. Two different bodies, a van or a double cab. Two trim levels, Colin. dynamic <laughs> And delete. Colin Corker in the uh, comments, Cackle of Kelly's? LOL. Yes. As there's, you can see. There's, there's more than one. There's more than just one of them. We have him just very skillfully placed in the corner. And uh, that is one of many cardboard cutouts of our very hour Iron Kelly from the Triforce podcast and the Twitchy Wilson we can't, show. We can't have a sh show without... Our Iron Kelly. So, yeah, so now we, we have, have uh, our cardboard Kelly in the background, just like a whoop -dee from MK. So, yeah, our our cackle of Kellys will be popping up in the background of all of our programming. So keep an eye out for them. They're little Easter eggs for you. But with the Voxel, this is obviously another option yes. electrically for uh, you know, the UK to really have a van that all utility services can use, but still take advantage of the electric benefit. Right now, Viviorero E is offered with two different types of batteries as well. 50 kilowatt and 75 kilowatt. The 50 kilowatt will take you 144 miles. Okay. The that's 75 kilowatt will take you 205 miles. All right, that's a little bit more impressive. I mean, still, it all depends on quick charging though. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say anything about quick charging. It does say it can take a payload of 1,275 kilograms. Okay. So whatever that is in pounds, we don't use the metric system. I'm sorry. No, we're but, stubborn. you know, a I'm rough sure it estimate. works very well for you, but it's just... A rough have estimate Americans. in my head is the benefit of an electric engine is that you get a lot of torque. That's really what you need when you're kind of tr uh, trying to pull something. And that is kind of where I see that being a benefit for this little uh, utility mm -hmm. van that you have that electric engine. So, so it a way will to, be able to start pull it. getting the pull, uh, 
the pollution out of the cities and whatnot. I mean, we could try. Probably in a more controlled, you take it and... Although this is just the first step. you got to actually way. take care of yeah. where you're getting your electricity. After I, I will have to say that, that the Volkswagen we had last week had yeah. the most brilliant idea for batteries. Yeah. Just take them out and put new ones in. Just go back and watch Night Rider taillights last Seriously, week's Seriously, it would be amazing. You could also sell them all sorts of stuff during that time. Oh, yeah, man. We mentioned a lot of stuff in this program, so would it you is like very the beneficial to rewatch. Do you want the undercoating? Oh, man. you Especially in the northeastern region, you want an undercoat. Well, in the northeastern region here, people are not happy with uh, the Bronco. Well, I don't... <laughs> I'm not surprised. So, there's a petition online for to make the Ford Bronco a manual. They would like a seven-speed manual. The manual is only available with the small engine. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. The Sasquatch package is what they call one of them, which I found quite Does it come with beef jerky? No. Damn. It does come with locking front and rear axles. Okay. High clearance front bumper flare, whatever that is. It's like spirit fingers for cars. Okay. 17 inch deadlock wheels, Blistein dampeners, 35 inch tires, Goodyear. They wanted to let you know that for some reason. Okay. I mean, you know, special Goodyear own. tires. If you want the twin turbo, they would like a twin turbo V6. I'd like one too. Yes, that's I, what I they would don't like see it happening with in my a manual future. transmission is what they would like. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it happening in my future, but no, I mean, if the they can make it happen, right. absolutely, you know. And, I mean, look from this picture, the Bronco that doesn't look bad, but if you're only offering the manual in the downgraded version, that's really cutting your nuts off. Yeah, you're not going to be able to repopulate. Just offer a manual in the other ones and up the engine. Like, look, you're bringing they back also, the Bronco. You're this is this was the rival for like the Wrangler, man. Yeah, this is you also gotta, and and sold as an off roader, and they have problems with the crawler gear ratio. They say the best crawler gear ratio is ninety four point seven five. By to one, okay. I don't know what that means, but it's apparently good. Four point seven five or to bad. One. I mean, I'm not very. I don't know what the, the crawler gear like ratio that, they're talking about, but they're not happy. All right, they well, want better, whatever that. Does. They they want it better, up or down, high or low, whatever it's supposed to be. Yeah, Link, it's not it's not Kelly, pal. He's not going to fetch it. Yeah, okay. he doesn't have any ankles for you to bite either. But uh, uh, that's so sad news things are not going Bronco. well for Ford. Yeah, but they will give you a price cut on the Ford Explorer. You want to look to get into a Ford Explorer, twenty twenty one? Not really. They're gonna cut the price. Let's look at that. Those videos, up to four thousand dollars off. Please buy a Ford. We're struggling. They're trying to cut. They're Go trying ahead. to cut the. Uh, they're trying to really bring home um, the. They were having production and quality issues. Yeah. They've now sorted that out, and they're going to give you a bonus starting at thirty-two two. Yeah, they're trying to get. They're pretty much they're trying to cut the dead weight, and they're trying to give you as much off as that possible, just so you buy these fucking things. So if yeah. you're on the fence, yeah. they're like, "Gotcha, bitch," and then you suffer the consequences. But yeah. Well, I'm always glad to hear they solve quality issues. So you don't have to keep going back for recalls. Right, right. I mean, but, the free rental I mean, car is nice. Overall, it, it looks fine enough. You know, so I mean, it looks like an Explorer. It looks least. perfectly they fine. The Ford Explorer, it's a very nice looking car. They kept the shape. For a Ford. Yeah, they kept the shape. I saw a couple I of I like it. The it's a nice looking SUV, and I think all other SUVs, except for some of the Asian brands are kind of, I don't know what they're doing yeah. there. The Asian Some of the brands like to mix it with like uh, it's like they took like an Explorer and they took a mini anime, van and they just kind of mix. Some them of the together. stuff over there is all yeah. Just it looks like is, it could be it, everything could anime. be anime, and yeah. it's fantastic. The anime companies may have actually made them make it like that. You never know. Yakuza. It it could just be that's what the artist 
I'm watches bl- and I'm, I'm blaming the Yakuza. You know, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that there's big changes with Chrysler. Do you remember the Chrysler? Uh, what was it? The Pentagon, where they had the logo of the Pentagon. It was on Uncle Frank's van. <sighs> Yes. Next story. Yes, I do. If the internet, allow- oh, I must have clicked that same story. There we go. Um, yeah, I do remember that. Chrysler. Wow. Chrysler. Stellantis. Yes, is now Stellantis. Be it Chrysler and Peugeot is now Stellantis. That sounds like something that you'd hear, like, in a AI, like, v- VR, like, Welcome to St- Stellantis. Yes. You know, like, it's supposed to be calming. It's supposed to make it feel good. Like, oh, Stellantis. That is not something I would attribute to, like, this car. The, the, there is more behind the name, believe it or not. Oh, boy. They say the rich, the name pays tribute to the rich history of companies... But the evocation of astronomy captures the spirit of optimism and energy renewal. Okay. They do have that push for lots of electric cars. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's that push there for just like And it like refers to brightening with stars. Yeah. That's where they'd like their, 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 their share price to go, brightening, not dimming. Yeah, it's a good I mean, thing they didn't call the company Big Old Black Hole. <laughs> well, what mean, do you it's want? Better, it's better than Dodge. Dodge means to avoid. They might be known as that because they're in the Chrysler or whatever. Stellantis. He, uh, I, I, think it's, I, it's, I expect it's, David Attenborough to do a documentary about it. That's what I expect when I hear that word. Today we join call it whatever, to find the whatever wild you want. Stellantis. Call it whatever you want. Just, just stop trying to upsell me. Yeah. All I want. <laughs> That's it. But in 2023, Peugeot has got plans. Uh, the French are coming. The French are coming. So I don't out. think anybody has ever the said The French that are coming, and you can get a Peugeot. They were last for sale in 1991 in the United States, and they are coming in 2023. Okay. You can click on the picture of the Peugeot SUV. Crawl. Whoa, whoa, that's a thing. That's a very... Look at the back rocker panels. They're, yeah. like, very dark. Oh, yeah, wow. That's... It, it, mm. it looks very French. It's uh, That's something only a French mother could love. Yeah. I'm sticking with that. They want a simpler, more efficient retail process. That's simple? Retail process. Oh. So oh. if you find that... It's probably to that to counteract here. the crazy fucking front end and rear end they have on the car. Like, look, yeah. this is really crazy. We got to have a simple process in here somewhere. In 2016, they announced three phases to return, and in 2023, they will be returning or attempting to return to okay. the United States. And I'm all for competition. Competition makes for more quality products. And look, that's really where you saw a lot of step up is when the Japanese started coming into our market because then the American market started to tank and they were like, fuck, we gotta like, we gotta step our shit up. And it was that cat and mouse game. Now having another competitor over here being more prominent because let's face it, Fiat, ha! N- not a competitor. Ooh, ooh. So. You have to have something else counteracting that. Whether Peugeot is going to be know, an, a welcome mo- a- addition into that market or not is still to be seen. They've, but they've been away for like so long, price. but with Ford being weak, yeah, you know, when they come back, it might be the final nail in the coffin. You so, know, I mean, it especially all, if they produce really reliable cars. I don't yeah. know because they haven't been here how yeah. reliable they are. When I think Peugeot, I think well, were they the ones that made that 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 cardboard beach car? I'm not sure, but it also, you got to think of where are they building it, where are they shipping it from. What that's going to add on to the cost of the car already. Mm-hmm. So if you have an expensive car or even a cheap car, like it's going to show in that transit cost. Yeah. Well, they'll have to. They have to build them. Here. And then you have detail. Something like cars, you you got to kind of build them. Like rail dust is a real is a real thing, which you know that's 
easily a couple hundred dollars on each car just to get that fixed. Then you have different other body shop issues that pop up on cars that that's expense that you have to put on top of that. And that's something you have to think of when you're trying to bring over But they've been planning this since 2016 in three phases. Mm. So they'll have to open plants here. Yeah. You, you or kinda, Mexico. Here, Mexico, yeah. Canada, whatever. We really like Mexico's your really popular right now with a Actually, lot of Actually, we really like your manufacturing here, but I got what do I know? I just work in mental health and talk about cars. They're cheap down there. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap labor. They're probably gonna go nice cheap labor. <laughs> if I know anything about business, it's that they're cheap. But <laughs> one thing I don't know about is this next door. Viroquois. Mm -hmm. GM has a big That was an thing. Indian tribe. Yes. This is the Cadillac Liroquois. Oh. This is probably still yeah. the concept photo, and this is why we're here to talk about the Lyric Boy. Okay. They say they're here to compete with Tesla. They're going for you, Tesla. The debuted Thursday with ample luxury. Ample? Yes. Ample? Not, ex luxury. not uh, absorbent, but adequate. 300 mile driving range. Segmented leading tech, zero emissions, 19 speakers, wood enamel trim with aluminum. Kelly Collins commented on the podcast, Hey, who's that guy to the right? Where uh, where your podcast name is? This this guy here? This guy? This guy? Oh, that's uh, one of our cackle of Kelly's. Yeah, yeah, we only got one today. I tell you what, if you, if you don't remember the great experience, I highlighted it in a special promo, and it is at 19 minute marker on podcast number 146, <laughs> our cackle of Kelly's. And you can go back and watch that anytime you want, because his the, the reaction on his face is priceless. Yes. And it's one of pure joy. Which what is also what is priceless. That's why he's here. And another thing that's fantastic with this is they have a lack of cobalt. Now with seventy percent less cobalt and ninety percent less wiring. It has a fifty fifty weight distribution and the battery adds stiffness to the chassis for better handling. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, definitely a stiff chassis is something everybody looks for. Absolutely. Level 2 charging with fast and slow. Uh, it had no 0 to 60 time, but Tesla X is 0 to 60 time is 2.6 seconds with a 305 mile range. So they have that to work with. All LED lights, hands-free driving, Auto, lane change, and the work. Get one for starting at 75. Kelly Collins says he's pretty cute. He should probably model. And, uh, oh shit, Big Brother is taking lessons in segment lead ways. Ha 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 ha. He probably had a better laugh. Yes. Probably. You I'm know, um, we're really just here to entertain. If that's what's entertaining, Absolutely. I like it. But, i uh, tell you what else is entertaining. Maybe. I don't know. I peaked, though. Would it be a leak by Joe Biden? That's Joe Biden in a Corvette. I think Joe Biden likes Corvettes because he leaked that they are working on a Corvette that will go all electric 200 miles an hour. <laughs> and they're going to build it in Kentucky. Okay. Well, there you go. I mean, uh, I mean a Corvette is... How could you hate a Corvette? Though? In two you know? years. So I want to see them do nothing but succeed. Everyone loves Corvettes. I'd love to see... Uh, you love to see them just driving and around. Absolutely. Puts a nice smile on everyone's face. I, w I don't want American sedans to go anywhere. I just don't want to buy one. Would you like to buy a sedan that Johnny Cash drove if it was electric? Boogie, woogie, woogie. Uh, yes. So this is Johnny Cash's Rolls Royce. They're now restoring it from a Tesla Model A. Kelly Conn no, says Tesla Model S. Creepy, sleepy Corvette. Yes. So he wasn't supposed to tell them that they were working on it and going to build it in two years, but oh, he let that slip. Whatever. Yeah. 
It would have been a lot more of like a big bombshell in today's day and age with like Twitter because he would have just like, ah, they're making me, they're making me a Ro- Actually, electric Rolls Royce. Yeah, nowadays it'd just probably be a post. Mm-hmm. That they wouldn't be allowed to have press. Yeah, you, we could all get sick. Yeah, creepy sleepy Corvette. God but it's a Rolls Royce from the seventies. It's it is what they call a resto mod. It had three bad cylinders wow. that needed to be overhauled, so they just went Whoa. and put in electric, and it's nice to see mm. the old girl still running. Would you drive that cardboard, Kelly? It looks like he's saying It looks yes. like he will. He'd love to drive that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad we have him there. Uh, in England, they have a company named MG. Okay. MG is now 95 years old. Wow. Okay, so it's not a new thing. And they want to sell a budget car for under 25K. An electric car for under 25K. That's their their uh, goal. So their goal is from 12K to 30K right. to get the car. For 12K, I don't know, you could probably get... I'm not going to talk shit on them. You want to do that, man? I'll, I'll I'm all support for it. you. I'll give you a round of uh, applause. They plan on giving uh, 25k for about for the car with a seven-year warranty hmm. uh, and free charging cables for your home. So and they'll give you free charging cables. You got to pay for where it plugs in, but they'll give you the cables. That's nice. It's, it's, that's, it's that's better than you know what. I like that. You know, hey, we sold you a car, but you know what? Uh, You got to buy the gas tank. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to buy the gas tank, and you got to pay us to install it. Why? They'll just give you a cord, and you can probably, like, plug it in on your socket. Yeah, this probably makes a lot more sense. what I imagine. Yeah. It's got to be like that. Yeah. Being that I have no idea. Well, that's what makes it better, because we don't know. We can just speculate. Yes. What... A lot of people don't know is in the next story. Mm. That's all about China. <laughs> yeah, they don't know shit about them. Yeah, what they got apparently on over we there? were in besides evil uh, va- uh, viruses. Yes, the Chinese have been working on electric before. They 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 were kind of a joke in the terms of electric, but they've got a lot more. They were known for stealing cars that look like someone. Descri- what did Jeremy des- describe it? Is it looks like someone described a Range Rover very badly on the phone. Uh, yeah. Those type of copies. Yeah. And the Chinese, but the Chinese courts have said no. They look nothing alike. But I have a list oh. here. Well, if Chinese courts say it's okay, the Range Rover they say is similar to the CH Auto, which All is right. basically are there more photos in that? Oh, that is the supercar they're working on. The R8, it was the EQ2050. You know, Mazda has a RX8. It doesn't look like that, oh, but yeah, you know, they're just stealing like that. whatever they want. They have caught up on electric tech enough to be able to compete in the real market. Okay. That there is a hypercar. They've also, they have 82% more charging stations than the rest of the world combined. Well, I tell you what, you get a lot done with a gun pointed at your head. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what? I'll give it to those communists. They get shit done. We we move very slowly. They're like, no, we are already over it. I'm like, wow, you guys are good. You'd be surprised, man. You'd be you'd be surprised how not tired you are when you have a gun pointed at your head. Like, look, man, I'm tired. I want to go home. Are you? I can go for another 24. Let's do it. Another surprising fact is they have 2.85 million electric cars. That's why they need all those. That, oh, can you make that bigger? Oh, that's a, oh, that's something. That, that's a. There we go. Yeah, that's something. They are working on another electric car. The, oh boy. Xpeng P7. It looks like a Tesla 3, because that whew, that's a face only a mother could love. I, I think their mom look, likes it. I think what was it? Honda. They Honda stole the idea from them. No, that van that we saw. From it looks like the van the too. E-bus-y. Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like the e bussy It looks yeah yeah. And you know where they got it? They got it from Total Recall. 
in those well, futuristic you know movies. They already fucking did it. And they were like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do that. It's based on the Tesla spec, so they say it goes 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds with a 440 mile range. So that's better than Tesla. I wonder if the... 40 mile range. I wonder if the devil yeah. horns come with the, the car. I think that's part of a delivery service. And they're like delivering oh. hot. Such I don't know cup. what it says. You can like... If you could decode... You can Chinese. use Google Translate and yeah. figure it. It's probably. I mean, that's what it, a delivery. I'm truck very ignorant to the Chinese. Like. This one does not have devil horns, and this one does. So I'm assuming that you get like this part stick on devil horns. This part is interesting. They have uh, the Chinese have partnered with Toyota for a, an electric, all electric garbage truck and buses in California. That is surprising. That the is Chinese kind of surpri- and the Japanese would actually partner together on anything. You know what? I, th- I think it was because of us. It was the Americans that did it. Yeah, drop Capitalism. It. We yeah. brought them or our you know, England or wherever drop a new, came from. Show them McDonald's. Changes their way yeah, of life. They're now all capitalists. Yeah. And I think they're making the world. We've made the world a better place. I mean, look. They made Have a I nice, su- nice looking hypercar here. I mean, it is a very stylish looking hypercar. You know, I'm, I mean, that is a, a man who wants to overcompensate for something is looking at that car and saying, "I'm buying that tomorrow." Absolutely, and saving the environment. And China also has something else going for them. They have sixty percent of the world's lithium supply. All right, so that's a bit so of a. So they have a thing or two to learn. Okay, so you know. Did you do you know what the best-selling electric car is this no. year? No, I don't. The best-selling electric vehicle this year was the Nissan Leaf. Okay. But Nissan Think, uh, click on that foot that video uh, uh, picture there. Beautiful bean. Footage. That this mm-hmm. the Aria will sell vastly more because it tests better with that stylish body. I will say, I like that body better. It's very. Very crossover-ish. I think people will love that. Not not the rims. Yeah, give it the last the name, rims. Stark. I'd follow. Not it. the rims. Yeah, man. I I I mean, that's very. It's very Nissan. You you look at the you look at the hood, and you look at the grill. That's very Nissan. It's very futuristic Nissan because they have the small strip of LEDs for the lights up here because everybody's being classy oh, yeah. like that. It's like when everybody wanted to drink tea with their pinky out. And then you look at the rims. The rims are very I don't interesting. Know what you're about. The rims are uh, the rims are something. There's something else. But yeah, they're blades like a you know a fan. You know. But then you look this at the, one, the two tone right here. This one will get 16 more miles, different miles. Look at those two shark fins. I. You know yeah, what? It's why? kind of a stylish looking. Why? It, for a crossover, it's not bad. They're really trying to make it look. It doesn't look like that Ford. I'll give it that. No. You know how they all look the same. This one does not look the same. It doesn't. It and it's coming interesting body to a Nissan dealership near you. I'm conflicted on this one because I like one. I, I do kind of like that color, but two, I like how you have the all black top. And then you have the solid color base, but the back end, I have no problems with that. It's kind of like it, a, a, it looks a very champagne Nissan. color. Yeah, it looks very Nissan, but I'm, I'm just very confused at why you have a double shark fin well, there. Well, speaking of, yeah, that's that's kind of weird. And there's a, uh, the fin, the uh, spoiler, I don't get the spoiler I, either. I, yeah. What's the last photo? We, it we just confu- it right. confuses me when I look at the ass. It's not bad. It's it's a crossover. It's kind of th- the from there. S- I have no problems with. They're that. kind of sleeking fine. it up. I like. It looks the like looks a, of you know a, a retooled vision of the the Nissan Rogue. I like I like the looks of the car. It's it's yeah. a good looking car. Let, oh, we got to yeah. look at the rims next. Mm, oh, I'm those rims not, are very. Oh, oh, they're, they're very mm. impressionist. Period. You know, like it's almost like somebody tried to do art with the rim. It's like something from Star Trek, yeah. the next generation, from yeah. like that. Yeah, I don't like it. What else? What else do we have there in the picture department? Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. 
That's the shark fins. I don't care. Let's move on. We'll just I mean, you, maybe you don't have to look at them when you're inside the car yeah, if you don't no. like them. I, I mean, all right. Oh yeah, yeah. that's fine. Oh wow, that's lots actually, of storage room. I like oh, that. Any really every really family awesome. needs tons of storage okay. room. Okay. Obviously, this is English, um, but still very big, wide screen, nice, open, spacious. Even if they did, lean it's the probably the same photo. Back, they just. Flip it and the take gate, the the dash cluster here, very interesting. You have the car, almost like a you know Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, yeah. It's probably for uh, navigation. Looks like it's up front. Yeah, it's like they have. The I love it when they system. have that feature. You have that navigation in front of you, and the best one I like is Honda because Honda will show you the lane, how much, how close you have are in feet. It'll list like everything out. Like here, dummy, follow this. And yeah. it's just so yeah. idiot proof. They have to I, be I really that. like Honda. One thing I've discovered with those infotainment systems is, is glare. Yeah. So if I could just get like a sun visor that I could like pull out yeah. for that so I can see. The ca backup camera is very nice, but if I could just get like a little sun visor for that. Yeah. That'd Absolutely. Be stellar. I mean, but even still, you look so at this put dash. That in the Nissan. That's an impressive looking dash. You know? line. I'm, 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 I'm like. I like that. the dash. It's I'm very stylish. That. Yeah. We're then, living in the future. It looks nice. like that screen is easy to replace. No, nah, you got to pop that whole thing off right here, and it's probably mounted uh, with bolts. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe like six or eight, maybe like play. eight bolts, and then you. It have could to be take plug and play because they're doing that a lot more nowadays. Well, no, but they're, they're going to secure that down because if you don't have that fastened down, if you hit a bump, it would distort the screen. So that's mounted yeah, underneath of that. So that's a totally bitch to replace. I can tell you that. And my professional. Opinion, would you but. Would you like to see a Subaru in bronze metallic paint? Um, I don't think I have a choice. But wow, okay, wow. That looks way bigger. That looks way different on a bigger screen. Make that bigger. Let's look oh. at that. That is a Subaru Outback, and it now comes. Why did the video? Why did it get smaller? Okay. The Outback. This is the 2021 yeah. Subaru Outback, now available in metallic bronze with more standard stuff. Okay. They have new paint, new safety features, LED lights, rear seats, rear seat prompts for kids and pets. There you go. Reading the whole sentence makes it a lot more impressive. Just saying, uh -huh. they have rear seats. Like before, it was just empty. <laughs> that was, was extra. It was just a couple of fucking milk crates in the back with a seat belt. Like what? It passes inspection. It will Sit down. The, the price is still going up $190. Okay, I mean two hundred and ninety if you get the turbo. All right, well starts at thirty two to about twenty seven eight. I think they spent too much money on everything else in the car, and they didn't think about actually changing the fucking design any. It it's it's a classic design. It <laughs> works. They're going for functional Subaru. I've always seen it as a company who's just like, we're here, we're functional. Yeah. Maybe I'm just too mentally scarred from people in Subarus being dicks. I don't know. Uh, that, yeah, that's well, it. I, I oh. have never had that problem. Well, there's one guy, but he was actually very well, nice when he got to know him. There was one guy, but you know what? But he Fuck. was actually very nice when he got to know him. Yeah, there you go. Like Mitsubishi, Ooh. it's a nice little company, and this is the first look. At the subcompact Mirage. It's back. All right. It probably never went anywhere, but this is the first look. It has Apple CarPlay and Android. I would like them to just announce when your car doesn't have that. That would be more. They all come with it now. And. Oh, it's like we were, what we were saying before the show about AC. Yeah. Now with AC. There oh, was a time, gosh. kids, where cars yeah. came with optional air conditioning. One of optional, my first cars was that. optional ignitions too. You used to have to stand out front of that bitch and crank it, and whatever kind <laughs> of weather that is. Hey, it's raining. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Get out there and crank the front. They did not have a seven-inch infotainment system like this Mitsubishi mm -hmm. Mirage. LED lights, uh, safety kit. Emergency braking with pedestrian detector, lane departure, and auto high beams. 78 horsepower, 1.2 liter engine. Fancy. Yes. 
five speed manual or variable transmission. All right. 14.9 to about 15. Not bad. That's not a bad color for it. I like it outside of that, you know, goldish color there. That's uh, that silver. The gold is really in your face. Yeah, that silver is really nice. Especially like if you with drive the clash. A bright orange yeah, car. The clash with the dark the, the darkened windows. Even if it isn't that dark tint wise when you get it, you can get tint. Yeah, on it was that. probably that would, that would look fantastic. Yeah. A lot of people just doesn't matter what kind of car they have, they just immediately say, All right, I bought a car, now I have to get tint. You gotta be careful with the tint. You gotta watch the tint laws. I think you're only allowed to have ten. In PA, they're pretty ten percent or something like that. Yeah. Not a lot. But there are a lot of disappointments in life, and this next story yeah. is a bit of a disappointment. Volkswagen, we thought you could do much better. Volkswagen, not you two. Volkswagen, yes. <coughs> Here is the 2020 Volkswagen Passat. It, it looks see. exactly like every other Passat ever. Yeah, it got a 5.3 out of 10. Wow. Wasn't Ooh. very good. Probably one of the things that a problem. It has with it. two It has two USB charging ports. That's it. Nowadays, I think you kind of want How more. How many do you need? Two in the front, two in the back, three in the back. I mean, all right. You have three seat belts. You need one for each seat belt, right? That's how many people you're legally supposed to have in the car. I guess they say I'm like supposed to be able to fit three adults in the back, right? I'm probably thinking like the Germans when they first were confused about cup holders. Like, why do you need cup holders? Why do you need USB ports? I'm I'm probably in that kind well, of well. They must be working on a new one because they're not putting any effort into no. that, and those no. rims yeah, are something no. else. No, it's time for them to do it. It's about time for them to do a, a reimagining of that Passat. It, you know, it comes every so often with it, but a major change is one of the good things. It is. It has a huge back seat. That's oh, what man. the upside is. It's a bit dull. Uh, look, 5 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Wow, that guy is... Comfort. Yeah. Well, the Germans know comfort. What can I you, say? I gotta say, you that is a comfortable fucking interior whenever you get in. It has heated car. seats, adjustable seats, yeah. dual climate control. Yeah. Big door pockets. Like a good big door pocket. Yeah. You gotta have big door pockets. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And there's a lot of little comforts that you find in German cars like that to where they just thought, what? This would be nice. Eight inch touch screen, which it's bigger than some. The Ford yeah. comes with a uh Well like the last story had like a twelve inch touch. Seven inch, twelve inch is kind of what yeah. If you're gonna you you're gonna compete, gonna have to pull out your big twelve inch. Yeah. For real. That's Absolutely. It. And the touchscreen is slow slow to interact, a bit sluggish. Yeah. Two liter turbo, 174 horsepower, 206 torques. Front wheel drive, it's a bit sluggish, six speed, 23 to 34 miles to the gallon. Toyota, Honda, all have better miles to the gallon. All right. Lane so. assist, collision warning, no hybrid, 22 to 33, five. On the fuel point aspect, I'm not very surprised because who was the big, you know, lawsuit that happened in the auto industry when emissions and yeah, fuel but, came? Yeah, but everybody, it was Volkswagen. But <laughs> they but had default devices. Bad, 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 bad. For, but everybody was doing it. If everybody jumped off a bridge, would I'm you? not saying they should <laughs> blame everybody, not just Volkswagen. Like You've if everybody's make. doing. Let's say you, you're on the tour to France and yeah. no one there takes steroids. Then you blame Lance Armstrong. Like, they were all on steroids. <laughs> Our steroid guy beat yours. I'm sorry, he was a harder worker than you. And he, he only has one better nut. at it. Yeah. I mean, look, <coughs> so, everybody was doing it, yes. But also the fact is that nobody's honest about any of their EPA or fuel... Bullshit, especially with that. that, and we and for us, they they didn't care. So we can move on to eleven dollar a day golf. Maybe hey. just eleven dollars a day. Triple A car service is going to offer a golf. That is a deal. Electric Golf R 
in California price for people with lower incomes. Okay. Well, specifically, if you have lower income and you yeah. can't quite afford it, AAA going to help you out. Well, that's the perfect car. And they might all. Yeah, and you get some subscribers. You have cargo space with the with the. I hatchback. think it's got like a hundred and. It's a four door. Twenty mile range, something Still, like that. I mean, if you're in that low income bracket, yeah, but it was especially you, you, in California. It's not going to take you far. And California has a whole lot more electric charging. Stations oh yeah, than everywhere. The rest of the I world. think this so is that fantastic. is the first kind of. Pro- this is where you roll out that program. And that is a very versatile vehicle. Like I was saying, you have cargo room. That's something that even a low-income family is going to look at, and they're going to see, damn, I could use that for a lot. It's the, 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 it's the hot hatch. It's very popular oh, in England. I had, they just got a tiny, leaky, little, foggy... I had the performance island. version. I had a GTI. Yeah. And I loved that car. It was... One and, you know, favorites. if you're in California and you're lower income, I'd look into this program with AAA Auto Car Service. Absolutely. Now in California, because I hear... Save you a little few, money, and you can still a, get around. I hear there's a few people that live in California. A couple. Like the there's third a few. largest economy in the world. Yeah, there's a few. But it saves you some money, you can still get around, and you know what? It's a, it's a golf, so you're going to have fun driving it. Yes. Yeah, speaking of fun... When I say Devo, what do you think? The band? No. This is Bugatti. Oh. The all new Bugatti Devo. What does it play? Introduced in 2018. Does it play Devo while you drive? Uh, It might if you have a Devo MP3 or. It's where they get you, man. Whatever. It's where they get you. Uh, It's a Bugatti and it costs, you know. Then again, Five, if you have a Bugatti, you probably have a Devo. CD. It costs five point eight million each, and there's only forty of them. Okay, that guy has a Devo. So CD. they got they, yeah. they can have a CD. He has the e- MP3 DVD and the vinyl. Top speed of two hundred and sixty three miles an hour. First edition. Three detail lights with forty four LED per fin. Sean Ennis, America. I see you're watching. I have to get one of those little American flags. Uh, you're the there. next one to get the cardboard treatment. Um, but <laughs> Bugatti, I I feel like you know, especially looking at it, it looks like a Bugatti. It looks eight like liter, I, I would kill myself if I drove it. Yes, eight liter W16 engine with fifteen hundred horsepower. Nice. That's a lot of horsepower to crank in. I really that. like but, that blue accent on the bottom of it too. Yeah, it's, it is. They're fantastic looking cars. It's like Bugatti trying to calm you down before car. you get into it. Like, look, you're going to kill yourself, but just calm down. Yeah, it's th- those cars are seriously amazing mm. works of engineering. Mm. And these 40 yeah. are probably already sold, but it's very nice to stick your nose against the glass. <laughs> yeah, and just appreciate. Like Ferrari. It's like window shopping. Yeah, ooh. Ferrari, a mid-engine supercar, the 8. Ooh, it's smiling F8, at me. F8, the 8, always stands for 8 cylinders. That's a supervillain smile. Yeah. it's That's a Loki smile. That's what that is. If Loki was a car... And it's sticking its tongue out at us. Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> get in, motherfucker. It'll cost three hundred thousand dollars, zero to sixty in two point nine seconds. Mm. Top speed of two hundred and eleven. Bit slower than the Bugatti, but everything is. Yeah. But it is seven speed, dual clutch auto, with top openings in fourteen seconds. Mm. Top opens. Okay. It's a convertible. The top opens. I write in. I don't write the whole thing out. I write. And sometimes Remember it's beautiful really mind. early in the morning when I do this. So. <laughs> yeah. So a top opening, a convertible top opening in fourteen. And the top seconds. opens in fourteen seconds. That's open. That's pretty good. That's open pretty good. to close to open. I think was yeah. twenty eight seconds. And I don't since know how. But I work on pretty much like dealership row in Westchester. Uh, I see a whole bunch. Like I saw a BMW going down two hundred two the other day, and like the top was up, and it was stuck like halfway. Oh, that's. And I was like, oh, I know why you're going there. <laughs> that sucks. The hard that sucks. tops, man. You gotta expect that to happen. Uh, even if it's a BMW, a Volkswagen, a Mercedes, I don't care if it's Santa's sled. If it's a con- hard top convertible, it's gonna fucking break eventually. But yeah. Santa yeah. has elves for that. 
Yes, and this one, uh, it had they had, Ferrari has a very long history of V8 cars with two seats. They've be been doing this for four decades. So it's yeah. probably the most spectacular car you would ever be allowed to sit in yes. or look at. I wouldn't be allowed to sit in it. They call it Driving Utopia Focus, Driving Focused Interior. Is there a thing um, look up the interior? Oh. Man, look at that from the oh. side. That is fantastic. Look at that. Ooh. That is a hot car right there. You can't tell me. Scroll up. Bring it to the top of the page so people can see it behind I'm daydreaming. Heads. I'm in the driver's seat. Yeah, go the I'm going down a windy California up. road. So you can see it. Oh. There you go. That little God, that's, there. that's just so good. I'm driving down a windy California road. I'm in yeah. my Ferrari. I'm having fun. I'm blasting Leonard Skinner for some reason. I don't know. It was on the MP3. Fuck it. I can't take my hands off the wheel. I'm going way too fast. Yeah. That's my mind. But I really like the look of that. And uh, just driving that. Even driving the side view. interior. Ooh. Every bit of it. Fantastic. Let's see. Here, here we see the, heart, the, <coughs> the top off. With the top off. It looks fantastic from every angle, like every Ferrari. And here we see the driver focused Driving interior. focused and interior. That is the quintessential driver focused interior right there. I like it's their minimalistic. In- I like their interior way more than I like the Corvette's interior. Yeah. With that big console. Here's the best I'm thing. I'm driving. Yeah. Don't bother me. But like, here's the best thing. You know. It's not overly flashy with the yellow. Subtle yellow highlights, which just drive oh, yeah. your eye to the points that you want Absolutely. it to. Absolutely. You want to look at the speedometer. I like Let's make the it Formula One style buttons yeah. on the... Right here. That yes. is a really nice touch. That is the... That's the audience. Although, if it was for. true for me, it would be like 27 more. And buttons probably over. different driving modes are turning, you know, different oh, yeah. stability assist off right here because when you're your buying here for, or if here. If I was buying Ferrari, I would just expect the best. And that is what I would want from a driver focused interior. They're right. I mean, that, that absolutely beautiful. And if you're looking at the best, a lot of people look towards our next story. I can't, I can't leave the Ferrari. I'm sorry. The last story is what I believe. There we go. Mercedes S-Class, all new and everything mm. we know. Get it for about 94 k In September is when you should see it. It is 2.8 inches longer from what they can tell now. You should probably get a different color than that, man. That's so you don't know what their body style looks right, like. Right, right, right. I was about to say It's supposed that, to confuse you. So that looks very You can't cheap. tell that yeah. oh, it's clear. a Mercedes. I can't tell it's a Mercedes. They, they have a, they a got clever the piece of over, steel over, yeah. the, over the yeah. emblem. I, I don't know what that is. V8 to V12. You know what that for, is? For that's, the Maybach. That's Clark Kent. That's a pair of glasses. Yeah. That's what that is. Mercedes yeah. put on a pair of glasses and they're pretending they're not Superman right now. It has a 10 degree turning radius and interesting choices. This is going to be the base for the Mercedes and the Maybach. Mm. The Mercedes will have a V8 and the Maybach will have a V12. Mm. So a very happy guy giving that a drive. Oh, God. Hybrid yeah. with a 3.0 3 liter turbo with a 62 mile range on its own. 282 horsepower. See your Mercedes dealer in September. Absolutely. Or donate the money to the podcast. We'd love it. Absolutely. So we could buy one of these and <laughs> test drive it for you. This is this would be we'd have we'd have a vinyl wrap on the outside that says projangers and wall hangers. Yeah, it would yeah. be fantastic. Oh uh, yeah. So, Mercedes, call us. Yeah. Sponsorship. <laughs> PJNWH.com um, If you want But they can back it into a spot Like a normal car They're sort obviously of. trying to take a picture of it so, uh, I think they're going with a Mercedes theme moment. Yeah yeah. It looks like a Mercedes what? That's a blow up Prius That is a <laughs> Prius car <laughs> That's a blow go up to, Prius Go to one of those other photos Where you can see the Prius car cover more See the one lower down <laughs> Wow. Yeah, no. wow, look at that. Inflatable Prius. Okay. 
And on that bombshell, Mm -hmm. we now end. Absolutely. On an inflatable bombshell. You can find us at pjandwh.com. All the videos, latest videos, are up on the front page. Click on the Contact Us page, and we love to hear about you. Whether it's your Johnny Cash electric car or a old Ford that you really love and want to talk about. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, man, it doesn't matter if you drive a Ferrari or a Vauxhall. Nothing rolls without lug nut. Lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Bye-bye. The anime companies may have actually made them make it like that. You never know. Yakuza. It it could just be that's what the artist watches. and I'm I'm blaming the Yakuza. They have 82% more charging stations than the rest of the world combined. Well, I tell you what, you get a lot done with a gun pointed at your head. I'm in my Ferrari. I'm having fun. I'm blasting Leonard Skinner for some reason. I don't know. It was on the MP3. Fuck it. Pizza. All right. Pizza. Thank you. There you go. The plastic monster's the plastic gone. The plastic monster is gone. There. Slay, slay monster Death work all day. Of the plastic monster. <gasps> and then I come back and I go ahead. Here. Dating. Come on. Here. Go ahead. It's safe. Oh, I moved. <laughs> it moved, man. <laughs> Get over there, you little pan. You See? don't know. You your mother wasn't <laughs> killed by plastic. Go lay down. I know, it's moving, it's plastic. Oh, you're such a pansy. You're such Why a don't pansy. you be nicer to him? I slayed the dragon. Yeah. The dragon plastic. It was clear and it was scary when he touched it. Hey. The camera. Camera. <laughs> camera. 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 Well, camera. someone's finally uh-huh. uh, very, very comfortable. Yeah. At the end of the podcast, the. Puppy Good thing you slayed so that plastic monster. It's happy. now gone. The plastic monster is gone. It's been an epic podcast as always. Like, share, subscribe. Comment Thank below. You. Let us know what luggy and nutty things you do. Bye, gang. Uh, what was I, I saying? I feel like we have a third person. Oh, hey. How are you? Good. It's just, it's just Kelly. It's all. one of our cackle. I tell you what the cackle of Kelly's just told me. They want you to go ahead and click that subscribe button right there. Mm. Oh, man. They're going to find all of the best lug nuts in that playlist right up there. And right above my head, they're going to find the best mm. lug nuts podcast for them right away. And probably faster than Link finds a comfortable position in his bed. Seriously, we're going to have to, like... It's a piece he's, of plastic. He's Bubba. freaked out by the plastic. It's a piece. I have to go slay the plastic. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>